everyone welcome to my channel so today I am very excited to be unboxing and trying on the icon box for August of 2024 now, if you're unfamiliar with the Icon Box, it is a quarterly upgrade of the BoxyCharm by Ipsy box. So each quarter you can upgrade that box. So instead of getting your BoxyCharm by Ipsy, you would get the Icon Box instead. The box is $60 a quarter plus a $1.99 handling fee. And for that price, you get eight full-size beauty products. Um, and the I, there's a new icon each quarter as well. Now, out of those eight full-size products that you get that are helped to be curated by the icon, you get five power picks, which are products that they choose for you based on your profile. And then there are three choice items that you can pick yourself. And then there are three items that you can choose for yourself if you make the choices during the choice day windows, which is usually the first through third of the month. So when this video is going up, you're in the choice window. So go in and make your choices. Now, this box today is my PR box. So this is the one that is sent to me free for review, but I do also pay for this box. So later this month, there will also be a sister versus sister edition of the Icon unboxing. And they did also send me PR boxes for the Boxy Trump by Ipsy and the Ipsy Glam Bag this month. So for the next couple days, those videos will be going up as well. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. So if you like subscription boxes, definitely make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today, unboxing this wonderful icon box and trying on the products. Now, because it is a try on video, I currently have Pretty much no makeup i did put some uh i did try to put concealer to cover this but it's not working out too great so hopefully it will get better um but it will be a try on video today and i do like to preface all my try on videos by saying that i am not a beauty guru i'm not an mua i'm just a normal regular human being trying on makeup so it's not going to be professional or perfect but hopefully it'll be fun all right so when you open up the box that is what it looks like oops <laughs> and on top you do get the little like newspaper for the icon box so um this one is by chrissy teigen and john legend so chrissy teigen slash john legend are the icons this month um i they did them as a couple which i don't know we've never had like a dual thing i don't know why there's two of, i mean i know why there's two of them because i know they do a lot together but for a beauty box, I'm kind of surprised it's not just like Christy Teigen. I don't know much about them, so maybe there's a genuine reason why it's both of them. And I know they do a lot of things together. But yeah, so those are the icons this month. Now, before we dive into the stuff that actually came in my icon box, because they are like the icons in my PR box, where they, they actually put like all three of the boxes together, they did also put some extras. So this is not something that you would get if you subscribe, but I just figured... Y'all like some PR sometimes, so I'll show you what I got. So what from Cravings, which I guess is Chrissy Teigen's brand. So it's Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. We got the perfect chocolate chunk cookie mix. You just add eggs and butter. The packaging on this is really cute. I love a good chocolate chip cookie. You do have to um, whip the butter. So you have to like pull the butter out and remember, you know, <laughs> to let it sit out at room temperature. So that's something I'll probably forget to do, but really excited about that. And then they also included this. Now, I don't know if this would possibly come in a box or not, or if this is truly just an extra that they gave us, but this is from the Loved 01 Exfoliating Cleanser, which I'm assuming is like their brand, but I don't know that for sure. So this has rosehip and sea buckthorn oils that deeply moisturize, natural bamboo that gently exfoliates and cleans, and aloe vera that calms. I don't know why I just pulled some of this out, because I'm like, this is a cleanser. It doesn't have any scent to it, so yeah, a nice little exfoliating cleanser. I can feel like little exfoliating beads in there. I mean, it feels a little sticky, but it's a cleanser. Um, so of course, I don't know why I looked at this and went, it's a lotion mentally, but yeah. So that was just something that was sent in PR, not a part of the box. All right, so the first product in my icon box for August is the Iconic London Multi-Use Cream Blush Bronze and Highlight Palette, which is very fun. I'll be honest, I just peeked in here. There's not a ton of stuff to actually try on, but this is one of them. So this is what it looks like. I've gotten Iconic London stuff before, not necessarily in this box, and I'm like, have I gotten this before previously and used it? Y'all know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm not a big cream product person, and I know cream products are in. I just, my skin is so oily that I just don't have good luck with creams. I cannot open this. <laughs> okay, I got it open. So this is what it looks like. So it has highlight, blush, and bronze. Um, 
I don't know if that highlight shade, that highlight shade might be too dark for me. I feel like it looks lighter in camera than it does in real life. It's kind of like yellow in real life, but we are gonna try this out, but I really strongly do have to preface, I'm not really a cream product person and so I'm probably gonna apply it wrong um and I'm probably gonna apply it to the wrong place on my face I don't know I'm gonna try my best um I feel like I should start with a bronzer I brought over like some brushes for cream products I don't normally use a lot of cream products so let's see so there's a the light bronze and the medium bronze I like I feel like the light is too light for me but maybe I should start with the light and then add some of the medium so that I don't look crazy okay I kind of mix them on the brush I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do so let's just figure it out I don't hate it. I'm curious once I put on my, ooh, blend that out. I'm curious once I put on my foundation, like if you're really gonna be able to see it, like maybe I should go in darker, but I'm just too afraid to go a ton darker. I mean, I definitely did something. So I'll be curious to see like once I do my foundation, Mumu is coming to join us. Um, I can always add like a powder bronzer on top if I don't think this is enough, but I'm just a little bit shy because this is my not my norm. All right, now we're gonna go in for blush. I guess I'll go for the one in the middle there. I don't know. I don't know if Mumu wants some blush too. Okay, um, it, it's there. <laughs> Could definitely see it. My face turns pink like when I get nervous or shy and I feel like that's what my face like just like looks like right now. I think once I put a little bit of foundation on, that will settle. I don't know, I'm just, this is so out of my comfort zone and not my normal makeup that I'm like, is it good? I have no idea. I don't know what my cat's trying to do right now. Um, she's looking at all the other packages that are there for me to unbox. Oh girl, you good? So yeah, I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to say if this is good or bad or whatever. Like, I'm just not a cre cream person. It's definitely fun to play around with. I look very blushy. Um, the highlight, I feel like you, the highlight doesn't make sense to put under foundation. That's something I'd put on top, but I don't really want to put cream on top of powder. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to do the, the blush and the bronzer. So let me go ahead and put on some foundation, and then let's see what it looks like after that. Um... I just realized you're supposed to put the cream products on after you do your foundation. <laughs> so we're all just gonna live that together and I'm gonna put cream on top of my foundation. I mean, I did that before. I feel like I've done that before and I'm really embarrassed for myself right now that I just did that. Um, so let's go ahead and put some bronzer and blush back on top of this foundation. <gasps> Y'all, did I just mess this whole thing up? <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, um, we'll figure it out. Okay. Is it too dark or do we like it? I don't know. Now we're gonna go and blush. I have to be even more careful. I just, I'm a mess. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. I feel really stupid. I, I just, you, clearly you can tell that I don't use cream products a lot. I just literally had that like, oh yeah. You put them on after foundation. You don't put them on under, like that was so stupid. But it's fine, it actually, I like the way that it looks. I'm not mad at it. I need to set my face with powder and then we'll continue with items in the box. Okay, so I added some brows, I put powder on my face and I put just a tiny bit of highlight. I know that that palette had a highlight but to me, I think it was too dark for my face and so I opted not to go with it. Um, so yeah, I like the face makeup. Uh, it's a lot of my comfort zone, but maybe I'll do I always say this every time I use cream products. I'm like, maybe I need to try it more because I don't hate it when I see it on myself. Love to see. All right, up next we have a product from Morphe, which is exciting. This is their Continuous Prep and Set Mist Plus Supercharged with Ceramides and Antioxidants. I'm pretty sure I, I've bought this years ago, maybe not the plus, but the Continuous Mist. Um, we are done with the makeup in this box because there's nothing else to try on, but there's so many other really cool products inside. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like, you know what I mean? Let me like, okay, get it started before I do that. Oh, Mumu's interested. All right, let's spray this face. That smells really good. I don't know why I was, I mean, it kind of tastes like hairspray. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it 
not to have a scent, but it's a really fine mist. I really love their mist. My shirt is now kind of wet from that. Um, I like that a lot. I'm actually very excited about this. I forgot about that. Um, I don't usually do a lot of setting mists because I feel like a lot of the setting mists have like bigger water granules, not granules, like pearls or whatever. Ooh, it smells really good. Like a part of me is like, I want that scent to linger because it smells really good. Part of me is like, well, I don't want my face to smell like that, but I really like it. I've never tried. I, don't, I think this is different than the one that I tried. I mean, it was a continuous setting mist, but like, ooh, that's nice. Um, inside of here, it does go over some of the products inside and it looks like the, is this in here? I see it on the page. The Morphe setting spray or set and prep mist is $19 or retails for $19. And that cream blush palette from Iconic London is $49. Up next, we have a fragrance. This is a commodity fragrance. This is juice in the scent juice. It is, um, and they have four different, no, three different scent strengths. So this one is scent space expressive for me and many around me. Um, so it's the middle one. So there's one there where there's not a lot, two where it's um, expressive, and then three where it's bold. So I like the middle one. I don't know what this one, does this one have like smelly notes? I don't know. I don't think I've ever smelled the juice one. I've smelled milk and maybe one of the other ones, but I don't know if I've smelled juice before. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this little black bottle. Ooh. I don't know if I like that, <laughs> like for me, but it smells good. Right, I'm gonna spray a little bit onto the packing um, just to see if I like it. That smells really nice and really fruity. It's like elevated fruity body mist is kind of where I'd go with that. I, I do like the scent of it. It's not a scent for me. Like this isn't, I feel like this smells like somebody I know, not like me, if that makes sense. So I don't think personally that I would wear it. I do like the scent, but it doesn't smell like me. You know what I mean? But I'm still super excited. I love that we get fragrance in this box from time to time because it's like, it's expensive to go out and buy a fragrance. I don't know if it has the price of this in here. I think a lot of people will really like this. If you're like a fruity scent type of person, I think you'll like this. I just don't normally, I don't, I don't really wear scents in general, but I think a lot of people will like that. Oh, okay. Um, that retails for $75. So that is very, very nice. I think Rachel might like this. So I'll have to give this one to her. Up next, we have something from Grown Alchemist and this is their regenerating gel mask. And I know that their products are pretty pricey as well. There's some nice stuff in this box. So this is what it looks like. They have the little metal tubes. You apply the mask for, no, wait, three times a week. Da, 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 da. You allow it to absorb for 15 minutes and remove with warm water. Okay, very cool. I don't really know what a regenerating mask does per se, but still fun. Yeah, that mask retails for $70. So it says it's a, like a juice shot for your face. It's packed with Rambutan, pomegranate, and green tea to help firm and hydrate your skin. Very cool. Ooh, uh, then from basal balm we have a ultra hydrating lip mask oh it is sealed i want to open it up i love a good lip mask i put a lip mask on every night before bed oh this is from jlo beauty this is their jlo beauty basal balm ultra hydrating lip mask which retails for 19 dollars doesn't smell like anything which actually is I, my preference in a little like night mask you can use it as a balm too oh i'm excited we haven't i love jlo the jlo beauty products that i've tried before so very excited for a lip mask. This is a really good icon box, y'all. Up next, we have something from First Aid Beauty. And these are their facial radiance pads with the glycolic and lactic acids. This retails for $38. And so they come in a little tub. They're probably gonna be sealed. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it, but yeah, you have those little radiance pads, which I think kind of exfoliate your skin. So you wipe the pad across face, neck, and decollete twice, once or twice daily after cleansing. Okay, and then, yeah. Ooh, I like that. That's very, very exciting. Then we have a brush set from Lythe, or Lythe Beauty, and this is their everyday brush set, which retails for $48 dollars. Ooh, okay. I love a good brush set and this actually has a lot in it. Ooh, these are actually really, really nice. So the handles are all like soft matte black. And then these are the brushes. Does it say what they do? So we have a crease defining brush. Ooh, they feel really nice. 
Then this one is a pre precision shadow brush. Uh, this one is an essential blending brush. This one is a pencil crease. This one is a flawless concealer brush. This one's very interesting. And then last but not least, you have a glow highlighter brush. Ooh, these are very, very nice. Have I heard of Lithe Beauty before? I'm not sure, but these brushes seem very nice and I'm excited to try them out. And then last but not least, from MZ Skin, we have their Calming Moisturizer, which retails for $130. Wow, that is an expensive moisturizer. So it is sealed. I'm just curious like what kind of consistency it is. No scent. It's kind of gel-like a little bit, but then it seems more hydrating than a gel. It actually seems like right in the middle. I actually might really like this. I don't know. I'm rubbing it into my hand. Yeah, that feels really... Oh, my hand feels super moisturized. It like went in really, really well. Oh my gosh, $130 moisturizer in a $60 box and you get everything else. That's really good. Okay, I'll have to give this a try. Um, and it's in a nice glass package. All right, so that is everything that I got in my PR icon box for August. I thought this was really good. I feel like there's a really good dollar value in this one. I'm looking at some of the other products that are listed here that you could get as well, and I feel like we have some really, really good options. So definitely make sure you, if you're getting this box that you got, make your choices for those three products so you get what you want for those. I like this box. I like the cream products more than I was expecting to. Um, and is this the thing I'm most excited? I think this and the lip mask are the things that I'm most excited about. But I'm also excited about some of these other products in the box. Of course, I'm like, the low value items are the things that I'm most excited about, which hey, they are. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, in my Boxy Charm by Ipsy video, they'll be going up tomorrow, the PR one. I'll be trying on, I know there's an eyeshadow palette, so I'll try these out in that video. That way you can see what they're like there. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the icon box for August? Um, again, later this month, there will be the sister versus sister icon box. So you'll get to see two further versions of it. And then again, stay tuned over the next couple of days to see the PR videos for the boxy term by Ipsy and the Ipsy glam bag. If you liked today's video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.